a game that matters and opinions that matter even more. Here we are for our outrage predictions for Ohio State's top 10 matchup with Michigan State in Ohio Stadium, 3.30 on Saturday. We'll obviously be there. That's Bill Landis. That's Doug Maurice. I'm Ari Wasserman. Here are our outrageous, and they're pretty outrageous this week, I think, predictions. Doug? My outrageous prediction is that Michigan State will run at least two trick plays. Um, <clears throat> one in special teams, probably, fake punt variety. Um, and one, I mean, like a flea flicker or like a something where like or a throwback pass to Connor Cook or something like that, because I do think that um, Mark D'Antonio has that in him. Uh, I think Mark D'Antonio likes his team and respects his team for fighting through the things they fought through this year. Um, but I think he probably also understands that head to head, mano a mano, it's probably not going to be enough for Michigan State on the road to beat this Ohio State team. So they're going to need a little something else. And Mark D'Antonio always has a little something else in his pocket, and I think he's going to take it out of his pocket at least twice. Fake field goal, too, don't forget. Yeah. Best thing that I've ever seen on television. There's nothing more outrageous than what we're using for a tripod right now. It's a garbage can. That's two garbage cans two garbage stacked can. elegantly on top of each other. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, when's the last time an Ohio State quarterback threw for 300 yards? 1978. Close. <laughs> It was uh, 2006. No, it was this week last year. It wasn't that long ago. Oh. JT Barrett did it oh. against Indiana last year. Uh, that's a long time, I think, for an offense it's supposed to be high powered to not have a quarterback for, throw for 300 yards. And Cardell Jones got close to it uh, against Maryland this year. So my average prediction is that JT Barrett will throw for 300 yards. Uh, Michigan State has allowed 300 yards four times this year. Western Michigan, Oregon, Indiana, and Nebraska all threw for 300 yards against Michigan State. And I think I think JT Barrett threw for exactly 300 yeah, yards against Michigan State last year. Yeah. Those were his two 300-yard games with Michigan State and Indiana last year, and it's all predicated on Michigan State's passing defense is just not very good. The players are different, and it has personnel has a huge thing to do with it. Um, but the other thing is, and this is stealing some of your thunder, is that Ohio State at some point needs to show it can throw the football. You're not going to win a, a national championship again if you're just going to run Ezekiel Elliott and JT Barrett on every play. So they need to get the pass game established. This is a good team to try to do it against, so I think JT Barrett throws for 300 yards. Speaking of Ezekiel Elliott, uh, we spoke to him this week, and somebody asked him, if he ever thinks about the Heisman, and he basically said no. And can I just say that's probably a lie? Am I allowed to? Or You can say that. That's real talk. Why? I mean, he's a human being. Of course he thinks about it. If he's going to go, I think he's already in position to go to New York based on the stats he's put up and everything that he's done this year. But if he is going to have an actual chance to win it, he needs Heisman moments in games like this to match what Derrick Henry did against LSU a few weeks ago. So my outrageous prediction is that he is going to rush for 265 yards against Michigan State on Saturday and kind of take the form that – is that a lot? Are you laughing at me? It's outrageous, <laughs> yeah, okay. Doug. But I'm, I'm laughing at the 265. Like, what? what is 265? It was almost 263. <laughs> I uh, was looking at his numbers today because I did an Ezekiel Elliott post, and I think – that was around one of the ones that he had last year in the – I'm not like Mr. Landis here with the notebook of every statistical thing that's numbers. ever happened to Ohio State, but I think he ran for 260 in one of the postseason games last year. So I just wanted to say that using that number to say that he's going to have a postseason-like game against Michigan State, carry Ohio State on the ground, because I'm not sure that I believe Ohio State can throw for 300 yet um, and then maybe put himself <laughs> – in a position to actually be in the thick of the Heisman talk. So if that's about if it. If you're both right, that's 565 yards of offense. Which could be. happen. Oh, that could. I mean, that's what I think that's like exactly what they had last year. I think last year against Michigan State, they had like 563 yeah. yards of offense. Yeah. It could happen. It's outrageous. All right, guys, that's it. For, <laughs> I kind of blacked out there for a second. <laughs> that's it for our outrageous predictions at Woody Hayes Center. Make sure to stay with us throughout the rest of Friday night. Were you well, thinking to yourself, why isn't Doug wrapping up? Yeah. I don't know what was going through my mind. Uh, basketball on Friday night. Stick with this guy. And then all the way through the morning on Saturday through the game. Uh, for Doug LaMaurice, Bill Landis, I'm Ari Wasserman. Have a great day.